It's DSP's hashtag DS Positive Countdown. Five amazingly positive things that happened in the year of 2013. Number three, mixing up my uploading style. Very early in 2013, I made an announcement. I was going to mix up the way that I did things on YouTube because I really felt that per fan feedback, things had gone awry. In the year 2012, I saw a pretty big decline in my viewership, losing about one third of the people who used to always come and watch my playthroughs. And when I finally did accept some fan feedback, there were some common threads. First of all, basically I would only be playing one game at a time. And so if someone really didn't like whatever I was playing, they may just completely avoid my channel to begin with and never come back. Number two, I was uploading too many videos in the same day. There were days where I would sit down and play eight to 10 hour marathons of games that I really enjoyed, and I would literally upload as much footage of that as possible as I could fit into a single day. For a lot of people, it was just far too much content coming too fast, especially those who wanted to subscribe to my channel but found that daily their inboxes were completely flooded with a metric shit ton of videos. Number three, a lot of people were missing important messages in the vlog style videos that I was recording, including the week in preview, Ask the King, my game reviews, and I was getting just an overwhelming number of people who were coming to me at avenues such as video comments or Twitter, just simply asking me, gee Phil, are you ever going to play this game? When are you playing it? Come to find out I was already playing it or had already beaten it, but they just didn't understand because they hadn't seen the vlog that I had created due to the overwhelming amount of content that I was putting out. So I instituted some major changes this year, including number one, completely separating my vlogs from my gameplay videos. Now there have been a few exceptions. In the case of me doing important, super important updates regarding gaming, I usually put them on DSP Gaming because I have a little bit more exposure there. But for the most part, all of my vlog style series where I'm talking to the camera, such again as Ask the King, my new podcast Hate Live, my Week in Preview, my series DSP Tries It, my Hateful Truth video game reviews, all that stuff is over on my The King of Hate Vlogs channel. For some of you, this may be the first time you're hearing of it, so head on over and take a look. You're going to see it's a whole different style of stuff that I do over there per just doing gameplay here on DSP Gaming. Number two, I decided that I was going to upload far less videos in one day. It was commonplace in years past for me to be uploading upwards of 40 or more gameplay videos in a day, to which a lot of people just said it's too much. So I decided that I was going to reduce the number of videos that I would upload in the day, stretch it out, and basically try to even out the amount of content that I did upload in a week. And a lot of people did get disappointed at that and said, oh no, well Phil, what are we going to do if you know we really love one playthrough you're doing and you're only uploading five videos of it a day? And I said, don't worry, it's not going to be like that. More than likely, if I'm doing two ongoing playthroughs, I'll be doing 10 to 12 videos a day, so at least you get a couple hours worth and you're, you're satisfied until the next day. Which goes hand in hand with my next point, actually doing different game playthroughs at the same time. This was a huge change for me because previously I was pretty much just playing the same games was non-stop out of tear. Remember, I wasn't live streaming, so I could just sit here in my leisure in my living room and record hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay without having to schedule it in or announce it or anything like that. All I needed to do was announce when I was uploading the videos to YouTube. Now, by diversifying my content, by having, say, one action game go upload at one point of the day, and then, oh look, a first person shooter game, or maybe a third person shooter game, or maybe an RPG, or maybe something else. By splitting the content, it allows people to watch what they want to watch and not be inundated with five billion videos, or to go entire days not watching anything because they're not interested in one of the game series that I'm playing. So these upload style changes I really feel significantly has improved my content this year. I hope that you feel the same. Again, these were changes I made as direct responses to fan feedback and requests. For me, I sure as hell am loving the variety and I'm loving you know, the, 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 the style that I'm doing it. I hope that you're enjoying it as well. Coming up next, where in the world is DSP? Find out.